Okay, sorry about that, guys. So let's see if we can do pivot turns with this still. Oh, oh, it's not on. Ah, it's so funny. All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so I got my phone now. Now we're ready to go. Let's see if we can do pivot turns on this. I got to turn the bike around anyway, so. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. The, the throttle is not as sensitive, so actually it makes it kind of easier because you don't have to milk the throttle as much. So I am planning to take this to the motorcycle park with the supermoto wheels on there. I've never ridden a supermoto in the dirt before, so um, I actually want to try it. We're going to bring both my supermotos out to the motorcycle park, and we're going to go shred some trails supermoto style. Um, I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of slipping and sliding around, so it sounds like a good time. It's definitely going to be a different kind of ride. <laughs> um, I will probably be doing, uh, uh, what's the word? I will probably be doing uh, doing just the easy trails, just the, the blue and the green trails. I won't be doing any 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 black diamonds or really difficult trails. So, because um, you wouldn't do that kind of stuff on a supermoto, anyways, you know. Not that you couldn't, you know, but it's just like you know, I don't want to bash those wheels up. Is what I don't want to do. So so yeah so uh, so the, so let's go talk about some of the reasons Hades Omega wanted to buy the supermoto wheels. Well, because I got a chance to ride this at the uh, kart racing track uh, at Sonoma during the Supermoto USA Round 1. Uh, and, uh, and I had a blast, so it was a lot of fun to ride there. Um, uh, I'd imagine, man, I kind of want to bring make the sprocket a little bit bigger. I, not the, Maybe not the 60 tooth. It would be super slow with the super to, uh, 60 tooth. You'd probably only go like 30 miles an hour, but if you can get maybe like a... Maybe just put the stock sprocket back on, you know? And then the speedometer will be a little bit off, you know? Alright, um... Alright, we're gonna go right now anyway, so... Okay, yeah, no. It doesn't do wheelies on takeoff anymore. <laughs> That's good to know. But it sure gets up and goes. So I hope this couldn't get us back home, since we already kind of rode like a... three miles. Yeah, we're definitely... we're definitely can keep up with traffic now. Now we can go 40 miles an hour. So 40 miles an hour zones, uh, no problem. It definitely takes a long time to regen. I'm just gonna cut in front of these guys. <laughs> So, yeah, I could definitely feel the wind is slowing me down going this direction. So, I think, actually, when we did it last time, when we went down the bridge last time, we were we had a tailwind. So, that was probably the fastest you can go. So, right now, I, I got it pegged right now, and it's going like 40, 41, you know. It's probably going to go slower because we're going up the hill. So, so there you go. You expect a top speed of 47 <laughs> if it can go that fast. And then... Uh, and then, yeah, it seems like it's just 40 miles an hour is like it's kind of top cruising speed. I'm going to try to let it regen going down this hill. This guy in the Beamer will just hurry up, please. So, also, I noticed the regen is a lot less, you know, there's a lot less regen. It's like you got like half the regen. Half the region, half the region. So this is Hades Omega Suron Light B. It's it is a uh, it's a moped. Um, yeah, it's a moped uh, registered Light B in California. So I can go on the bike lanes, and uh, I can go on the bike lanes, and I can go on the street. Um, if you're gonna go on the bike lane, probably should keep it in low power, um, just to keep you or just keep the speed down. Keep it under like 30 miles an hour. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Um, it's, the law says that you can ride in the bike lane as long as you do so safely. So I, it didn't say like, you know, what's safe and what's not safe. But I'm assuming you're go, if you're going like 40 or 50 miles an hour in a bike lane, yeah, that's probably not safe. Go <laughs> for other uh, bicyclists because you'll just freaking zoom right past them. But, but that's, a, you know, that's provided there's a lot of traffic. Um, all right, here we go.
So we could definitely keep up with traffic. Let's see, let's just hang out with traffic. We gotta make a right turn pretty soon though. Yeah, we could definitely keep up with traffic. Let's see if we can split lanes right here. I see where there's a red light up there. We'll try to split lanes. Mmm, I don't like that we have, have, the regen is weaker. Before, I think the regen was, uh, it was a little bit weak, but you know, it was okay for Hades Omega, you know? Okay, let's see if we can blow past these guys. It balances nicely. Look at that. I don't need to put my feet on the ground for like three seconds. <laughs> Pretty good. Alright, it's a drag race, man. It's a drag race. I think I'm going to stay on the right because we have to make a right turn, but there's a kind of like a barrier up there. Go! Yep! You can still... You can still uh, get in front of the cars. And I did it stealthily. And they haven't even caught up yet. <laughs> We're going like 40 miles an hour. It's just uh, how much the speed limit is here. So I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. I think uh, we're going to have to... We're just going to have to make a stop and make a right turn here. Okay. Okay, so I haven't really got a feel for the handling yet. It does feel... The, the suspension feels a lot stiffer. I think my compression is all the way up. Yeah, my compression's all the way up, but... Yeah, I, I think it might be too stiff, you know? I can kind of feel like all the bumps and stuff on the road. And we're running 28 PSI right now. It just takes a while to slow down and with the, with the regen. You can cruise at higher speeds at lower throttle though. But yeah, it takes a while to get there, you know. Maybe on the way back we'll just ride in the bike lane. I don't know. Let me see. We got so we got 79% charge. I remember the last time we went there, we went to thing. Uh, we got what should we call it? Let's see if we can race this guy with VTEC here, man. I'm gonna go race this guy. And go. And we beat him. <laughs> so I guess uh, I guess it's a kid zone right now. We should probably slow down. It's really zipping along now. We have we get up to 40. So it says 25 miles per hour when children present. So let's just slow down to 25 here. All right, here we go, man. I'm gonna go attack Sierra Road. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, Sierra Road. Try to go as fast as we can, as fast as we can. So this is a very steep hill. Let's see how fast we can climb it. If it's 35 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure we're not going too much faster than the speed limit. We're doing like 40 going up the hill right now. All right, this is a really steep part here. It can't do it. 35, 34, 33, 30. It's working really hard, man. We can't, can't climb the hill. Woo! Now it's it's slowing down a lot. I think the other, the the other sprocket we could do like at least 34. We're doing 31 right now. So it's definitely not as good at climbing. There we got up to 34, but it's not as steep anymore. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go right here. All right, we're gonna go left here. Continue on Sierra Road. So it's definitely not as good a climber with the Supermoto wheels, for sure. So I'm running. We're running the CST wheels. The these are the stock wheels, I think. I think the stock uh, dirt tires are CST also, but these are. Oh, there's a bunch of dirt in the road. That's no fun. It's okay. We're riding a supermoto, man. You can do both. <laughs> Optimize for street, though. All right, here we go. I'll try to commentate what I feel along the way. We're doing 36 miles an hour right now. Going up this section. It's kind of steep, a little bit. 
steep and windy. Some kind of truck just dropped a bunch of crap all over the road. It was not like this last week. It's having trouble getting up this hill, man, 30 miles an hour. It's not a, not a little mountain climber anymore. I've got a wide open throttle. And then we'll, we'll check and see how hot the, everything gets when we get to the top. Whoa, sliding a little bit on the rocks here. <laughs> okay. It's going 30 miles an hour. Try to do a little wheelie there. Got a little bit of front up there. Maybe right here we can get one. I'll pull up on the bars. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I got a little bit of air, actually. Yeah, dude, it's hella slower, dude. 30, 31. It felt faster with the 62 sprocket. Ah, okay. Pretty good. So light still, though. It feels like it wants to change direction much faster, though. We need some steeper... We need some faster transitions. See if we, how well it goes on the bumps and stuff here. Not too bad. That was pretty bumpy. There was some big potholes there. Yeah, it's the one down. I can feel. I can hear it. Uh, I can hear it struggling. Thirty miles an hour. So if you guys don't know, Sierra Road is a very steep hill. It just goes up and up and up. And it doesn't really level out a whole lot. This is a. This is the the torture hill, is what I call it. Torture test hill. Very good. Oh, I'd imagine downhill is going to be another story. Super tenere there. <laughs> it kind of scared me. I saw that big old bike just come out, come out around the corner. Thirty miles an hour. What I'm wondering is how was that Suron? at Laguna Seca able to kind of keep up with my bike, my, my impulse, because this isn't that fast, man. It's only going like 30, going up the hill. Okay, this is a little nice little turn here, but I'm not going to go super dupery fast. I'm going to let off a little bit. It's a little dirty. Okay, a little hanging off there. You can do it, you can do it. good. I don't feel the front end unstable. It feels okay. Let's see. Let me, uh, we'll ride leg out. Let's ride leg out. Supermoto style. Also another thing to notice is uh, the uh, um, what's the word? The uh, uh, the bike is a lot lower. A lot, a lot lower than uh, than with the dirt setup. It's about two, two inches, three inches lower. You know, so for you shorter riders, maybe, you know, if, this, if the Suron is already too tall for you, which is not too tall to start off with, um, Supermoto wheels is a lot lower. Oh, yeah, I can't, I, we can't get enough speed to, like, really load up the, the, um, the, the suspension on the corners, fortunately. We're doing 30, 32. I think we're, like, at 75% when, let's see where we're at right now. If I can, we're at 56%. It's really chomping through that battery, but we're almost at the top. Doing 35 in this section. Slowing down. This is a pretty steep section here. 30 miles an hour now. We've pretty much been doing wide open throttle the whole time. It's no more. It can't, can't give me any more, man. <laughs> Alright, there's a little downhill section here. Might slow down a little bit. So little blind turns. Oh, we're going pretty fast now. Oh shit! What was that? The back started sliding. That was kind of kind of scary. <laughs> that was a, that was kind of weird. Like I let go of the throttle a little bit, and the back started sliding. Maybe because of the regen. I'm not sure. I thought like maybe the chain came off again or something. All right, we're going 37 miles an hour. 36. This, this is the last straight. Uh, this is the last climbing section here. Till we get to the top. Little squirrel. Little squirrel. Watch out, little squirrel. 34. It could definitely get close to how fast the 60 mile per hour, uh, 62 sprocket can get, but well, like it, it can't maintain it. You know, it slows down a whole lot. All right, we're here almost at the top. It's not doing it very fast for sure. 
30 miles an hour. Watching the cows. So uh, now also remember, after around 54% uh, state of charge, the, the power drops down significantly also. All right, now it leveled off a little bit. We went 42 for a second there. All right, here we are, we're at the top. You made it. I'll go park here at the bike rack where I normally park at, and then we'll go check and see how hot all the components got. Okay. Like I said, it it does it does stand a lot taller <laughs> with the with the side stand because the wheels are smaller. Let's go give it a feel. So but it's pretty windy today, so the battery is I don't know. It's a little bit warm, but not really. Controller is warm. I can still keep my hand on it though. But it's definitely warm. I can feel some heat off of it. And the motor. Side of the motor. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty warm. It's not it's actually not too bad though. It's not it's not so hot that I like, oh I'm burning myself, you know. Maybe if I touch the heat sink, let's see if I can get my hand behind the motor. Yeah, I'm touching the heat sink underneath the motor, and it's pretty warm, but it's not like super duper warm. So, you know, it was okay. It just didn't have the power to get, really get up that hill too much. Um, so there's the tires. You can see um, there's a little scary. It was a, a scary part where like I let off in the mid in mid corner a little bit, just a little bit, like maybe a quarter of a throttle, and. Um, and it starts sliding. The back was sliding. Like it, it was sliding slowly. It was like it was doing this little. The back was like bouncing around, and it was sliding. Like um, that was interesting. I don't think these tires are like the best tires, you know. But but also, I'm not gonna lie. These tires are brand new, dude. They're, I don't. I mean, we didn't even scrub them in, so that's probably why that happened. <laughs> Just one thinking. Um, how warm are they? Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty warm, actually. Okay, so that was the uphill test with the Supermoto uh, wheel setup. On the Suron Light B, um, it's a lot. It's not a good climber. Uh, it's not a good climber with the with this with this sprocket here for sure. Um, it it looks like we were averaging 30 miles an hour with uh, 30 miles an hour. We probably the top speed. I think we probably, we hit the top speed right there, 42 for a second. Um, you can't really get to the top speed because it's so steep. Um, I'd imagine going downhill will be a different story, though. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely really push it. Um, yeah, so. Alright, so that was the uphill. Uh, when we checked the components, uh, the controller was warm, but, you know, not hot. The, uh, the motor was a little bit hotter than the controller, but not hot. Not hot enough, like, oh, I'm burning myself, you know. Um, and, uh. And the battery, not 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 that warm, so that didn't get stressed out too much. Uh, the bike didn't like, you know, the bike made it up. That's good. <laughs> um, I think that the 62 sprocket, I liked it better with the 62 sprocket, man. It's got, it has got some get up and go with it. But uh, yeah, I think if you, I think if you got a bigger, I think if you put the stock sprocket on this one, it would it would be better. I think you go from a 42 to 48, and I think it would be better. You'd have a little more punch, you know. Um, I would want it to have a little more acceleration, you know. Um, the acceleration is, is a little weak on this, man. You just give it wide open throttle. And it's really not. You don't really feel it accelerate, you know. So, yeah. That's, that, that is my opinion. Uh, I like the six. I like how when the 60 tooth, you know, you can just give it full throttle. It'll, you know, it didn't really, it didn't really stress itself out, you know. But it wasn't going, it didn't have a top speed of, you know, faster than 36 miles an hour. But... It could climb this, no problem. So the 62, this one, it felt like it was struggling a whole lot. Like it's like, oh, I'm, I'm giving it wide open throttle, and we're just getting slower, you know. You couldn't accelerate on the hill, so um, that is my that's my opinion with it. <laughs> um, also, I had this little fender here. I don't know. I don't know if it really helped at all. Um, one of the problems with the Suron is that it doesn't have a good fender, so and that that is their answer right there. <laughs> Looks okay, I guess. I wonder if you can. I wonder how that looks like with the street tires on it. That's a big, pretty big gap there. So there's probably a lot of space still. All right, so that was the uphill ride. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll go do the downhill ride in a bit. I'm just gonna take a 
bunch of pictures. Beautiful day in San Jose. I think it rained earlier today, but can't really can't really tell. It's starting to get a little brown out here, a little bit brown. So because it's like almost summer now. It's pretty much summer actually. All right, here's me go.